Hi guys, in this video we will go through scan policy manager in Zap. So let's get started. A uh, scan policy defines exactly which rules are run as part of an active scan. It also defines how many requests are made and how likely potential issues are to be flagged. You can define as many scan policies as you like. You can also define the default scan policy to be used for active scans and for the attack mode. So let us quickly launch zap and look at the scan policy manager zap is up and running you can access the scan policy manager by going to this icon on the toolbar or you can go to analyze and click on scan policy manager here you will see initially the default policy which is part of the zap software you can click on it and click the modify button to view its details. Here you will see various headings like client browser, so what kind of tests it will perform, like cross site scripting, DOM based, information gathering, injection, obviously cross site scripting and SQL injection, and then there are a couple of miscellaneous and server security. If I go to the main screen, there you will see certain parameters which you can set. You can assign a default value to alert threshold and similarly a default value to the attack strength. The threshold option on the rules defines how likely Zap is to report potential vulnerabilities. So if it is off, then the scanner won't run this rule at all. If you select low, then more potential issues will be flagged, which may increase the number of false positives. And if it is high, lesser potential issues will be raised, which may mean that some real issues are missed and relates to false negatives and then we have got this strength parameter this defines the number of attacks that zap will perform if it is select to low then fewer attacks will be used which will be quicker but may miss some issues and if you select high then more attacks will be used which may find more issues but will take longer the insane level is typically used for very small part of the application like a login screen or so because it can take considerably long time to complete the test. Let's quickly launch Manual Explorer for our Mutualiday website and click on the login page. Okay, so this is our login page. You can right click and select attack with active scan and there is your default policy you can start the scan with this policy which will run all those tests which are defined in the default policy let us see how we can create another policy that is just testing for cross site scripting so what we need to do is we need to click on add and type the policy name here say xss test and if we apply off threshold to all so now if you see the threshold is off in all of these what it means is it will not run any of the tests as of now so what we wanted was to do the cross-site scripting so if we go to injection and here are our cross-site scripting tests so what we can do is we can set it to say medium it will automatically pick up all the linked ones let's pick the reflected as well so if we just click ok and close this so this time if i right click on the login page 
click on the active scan here you can now select our cross site scripting policy and if i start the scan now this should take considerably less time because it is just running the cross site scripting test so let us quickly start and as you can see the scan is going and it should finish very quickly see it has reached up to 100 percent very quickly because there is only one page it has sent four requests and there is just one new alert and alert is you can see it is a cross-site scripting it found out the issue if you want to run the scan with the default policy it may take considerable amount of time but if you know what you are testing for then you can create your own policy and then fire tests on particular page or particular area of concern which you are testing again thanks for watching if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video because that really encourages me to create more